What's up, my people? Welcome back, welcome back. All right, my people, welcome back again to an epic video. I know I've been making a video for about two days now because when you work hard, sometimes you gotta take a break. And so when you're working, peeps, sometimes I'm doing content and I'm working at the same time. So by the time I reach home, I'm so tired, I just take a break. I take at least two days off. So now I'm back full effect so now today's video people today's video now today's saturday right usually saturday is a soup day but i'm not feeling the soup today but what i'm feeling is some fried fish and some nice um curry gravy i'm gonna fry the fish first and then you know slice fish and then once i don't fry it I'm gonna cook all these down to a nice curry gravy with milk, right? And we're gonna have it with some rice and peas, see? Not just rice and peas, it's um, kidney beans and uh, black eyed peas, right? So it's two kind of peas, right? red peas and black eyed peas. Then, but I'll show you that in a minute, people. So without further ado, further ado peeps now we're looking for some pepper but these are too big right i don't want to waste these big ones and a simple simple thing right so we have some habanero pepper one for the rice and peas and one for my fish and the one for the rice and peas now is just in different flavor that's it you know no, we won't cut our burst and nothing just put it in but i'll bring it down and show you All right, my people. Let me show you what I'm going downstairs here now. But before I put to show you that, this is the fish, and this fish seasoned up you know, for a while now, which is good. Right? It's also a pepper on it because I seasoned up with the pepper, so I can get the pepper flavor when I fried it. It will be in it. Right? So, people, we have some yellow onions and green onions. You know, we have sweet bell pepper, tomatoes, thyme, right? Uh, next onion again, right? So we have one potato, that's all we want. And we have some garlic. You know, these are garlic too, right? But they're very small, but we're still gonna eat them, right? And then we have celery, right? So all of these, we're gonna make a cook, a cook down for the fried fish. Once the fish fried, we're gonna just Cook these down with some curry, coconut milk, and then we're gonna put the fish in it. So look what I'm going people, keep your eyes open. Please watch, like, share, and subscribe. And then peeps, you turn around. This is my rice and peas. This is, um, I should say, rice and red peas and black eyed peas, all right? So I'll show you peeps, yeah? The red peas and the black eyed peas, right? Yeah, that is it, peep. So you know you go, you got a story paper pot. The rice and peas are boiled, are cooked. Nice. And it's coming out just great. See? No more people by the time it's done. You know, so, and then you have ginger, right? See ginger? I put a piece of ginger in it for flavor people you gotta know that ginger garlic onions you know and pepper and thyme are in my rice and peas if it does if these things are not in it then it's not rice and peas right rice and peas contain lots of herbs and spice you know like ginger garlic pepper onion thyme right so yeah and that is it. So now, stir it up. What you do, you cover it up and then, once you cover it up, you got to turn it down, right down. So, but I put it on, two. So all right, people. So now, we're going to cut these things up. So let's stay tuned. All right, we're going to cut them up. We're going to fry the fish up. 
once the rice and peas are almost done, we're gonna switch it to the smaller stove and then use the big stove. Same peeps, so. But let me cut up these things first. Hmm? I'm starting with my potato first, beef. Hmm? All right, my people, we'll start with potato first, so we're gonna cut this up. We also have some, yeah, we have some hawker. We're gonna go in the two. Yeah. We have lots of vegetables going in the two, really. So we have carrots, we have everything to go in it. But just keep on watching them, please. I soon, I soon grab those out of the fridge. Peeps, potato, and celery, done. No, cut up some garlic. So, onions, all right, now let's cut this bad boy up, so now my peeps, we're going to cut up some onions. Sweet bell pepper, chop this pepper up, but it doesn't have to be small, right? So you just chop it up in bite size, people. That's it.
onion, otherwise for me, it's white. So now, cut up my tomato, then I'm going to go in the freezer, I want to get some, some, uh, some okra, some more stuff that I want inside there. All of them done cut up no peep so no let me get some um, all right one of these People, just check out my rice and peas and make sure it's all good. I'm gonna turn this on now. I want this to warm up so I can switch it because I'm gonna need a big fire now, a big part of the stove. But before we do that, we could this is, this is yeah, as I said, sliced okra. Yeah. Good. When you buy okra from the store, it doesn't last long, you know. And if you keep it, I can I don't like to keep okra. If I keep the fresh okra outside, it go bad real quick. And if you keep it in the fridge, it go bad too quick. But if I bite like this, it's all good. People get some okay. Now we use one of these elastic bands and just pull it back. This is also a vegetable bag, right? Let's 
let not everything I want, you know. I want to do some carrots. So now my people, let me bring you down, I'll show you what I'm going. So, so now peeps, we have everything I need. We have some carrot. So these one, it's rainbow carrot. So the yellow there, there's, there's seven different colored carrots. Yellow, purple, red, and green. We have some more carrot that's most people don't know about. You know, rainbow carrots. You maybe can get it in your local supermarket. Same. But right now we have some okra. Mm -hmm. We have some okra inside here, some diced up okra. We have carrots, habanero pepper, tomatoes, green onion, thyme, um, sweet bell pepper, um, that's yellow onions, green onions, you know, celery, garlic, and some diced up potatoes. So then we're gonna cook that down as soon as the fish done fried but we're not going to wait till the fish done fried to start it so we're going to start it while the fish frying see? and we have some sliced up fish which we're depending on so all right my people without further ado let's continue and then look at that now my rice and peas no it's coming good people see? so you turn it down and make it stay low trust me it will do its thing all right people just keep watching and just keep watching the peeps. So, all right. And make sure that part is up and ready. Yeah, and switch this. Nice. So I want this to fry my, my fish in. Then. That's what I want to fry my fish in peeps. Nice indeed. So come put on. I changed my mind about something, peeps. I want this to fry my fish in. This part I want to want to cook down all these stuff in. So, show sure about the oil out of that. So, in this part. Do the cooking down these stuff in, which would be good. Then, so yeah, that is it. Yeah, my people. So now, fish can always get started. Do, 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 do. 
Peeps, without further ado, all my stuff ready now. Everything ready to cook and curry. Rice and peas almost done. This is the pepper. So you guys remove it. Oh. Rice and peas look good, people. Yeah. Rice and peas look good. Look at that. Yeah. It's not done yet. You know, it's on the drying side, so now need it's gonna need a look good, need a, a lot more time. That's why you turn it down in minimum and just make it stay just like that to finish up, you know. If you put it on two or three, it's gonna burn. Because the coconut milk, see? coconut milk in it, it will burn. So, all right, people, just stay tuned. Let's see, here we go. See if I can zoom in. Not sure, yeah. And there we go. Right, my people. So now we're gonna start frying up our fish. If you zoom in on that bad boy, so you can see what I'm going. So fry fish is going. Turn up like this. That turned up. And then. Without a doubt, a more fish. Look at that. And you can see pepper in these too. Really? And smell the pepper, man. Can smell the pepper. Pepper is strong. Really strong. Isn't it, pep? Look at that. You can tell the, you can see the pepper in you know. them. Yeah, man. It's all, it's all good. Let the pepper stay. And so no. Oh, I knew what I needed. Need some garlic. So, garlic in the pot. Garlic in it, we're good. 
And we have we have everything ready to go for that other part. So what we need in that part now? A little bit of oil. And that's just to get the, the vegetable and those things cooked down. But we don't need much oil. We just need that amount. Right, so it's just that oil now is just to burn the curry. And then once the curry starts to burn, we're gonna throw in this stuff. See? But we're not gonna start it yet until we get the fish started. See? That's the thing. Fish got to start first. Alright. Yeah, my people. Let me make sure I check my zoom. Right. Nice. Alright, let's let's zoom out so we can get a wide view. Ah, there it is. Yeah people, there it is. You can see both sides of the table. All right, my people. Now, my fish. Well, I should have sliced this fish still. It's one piece. I sliced it up, but I didn't slice it. All right, we're good. Slice up my fish. pepper in it. Then I gotta drop some of this pepper in it. Yeah my people. So the further we do now when the fish them fried now we're gonna put it on this. Our fried fish and these, so you know, you can sit here to get ready to go in that pot. All right, fish. This is the green onions. Right, so you can take that out. And then we have the ginger. See that fish? 
This is ginger. Put in your rice in peace, give it good flavor. Well, I'm gonna try it though. Mm. Yeah, good. I taste the ginger. Mm. This is nice. Really. Oh. Mm. All right, that's going. So I can start this. I'll go with a small, it's a small burner really, but that's what it is. So let's, we're going to start that one now. And then we're going to start with some curry. Need a little bit more oil. Need a little bit more oil, I think. This is vegetable oil. So we put some curry in this. coconut cream but we're not we're gonna put this in some warm water until that ready Yeah, my people. So now I'm gonna cut these these carrots kind of they're really big.
All right, the pig said, no, that's bubbling up. But first, let me make sure I check on my fish. Yeah, they're going good. That is it. No, let's throw in this stuff now. And it says no. Put the onions. Put by the time for a minute. Tomatoes. Habanero peppers. Right, we're going to throw in our celery, green onions, oh, can't hold it. These are the ochre now, not yet. In time, you can show these here. Good. Now, my spoon, where is it? Alright, I use this. Good people. I soon put it on people making no more one half salary. Oh, that's garbage. Yeah, boy. See, like I don't want to switch that stove you now because I need a big one to cook this. I figure this can go over there. So, I'm going to make a switch. So let's put the fish over here, put this right here, perfect fit. Yes. Yep, you remember you don't see your log one in the pot, man. See? There it is, Steve. This, you're gonna put in some coconut cream, in which is coconut milk. Right. And those don't fry, I think we have about two more pieces left to put in the pot, so nice brown color, that's what we're looking for. Right. And my rice and peas, my rice, it's, well, it's rice and peas, I mean red peas with black eyed peas. Okay. You can see the black eyed peas. Right. Here people, that is it. Rice and peas look good, right? And there's the ginger, you can see the ginger over there, that's the ginger right there. Yeah man, it's gonna taste good my people. But so, now we want a spoon. We want a big spoon. Huh? 
and the curry in it, give it good flavor. So we have to throw in the okra next, but we're not going to throw in the okra as a tail. Because yeah. okra will boil out. And it doesn't matter really, but I don't like my okra boil out. Look at that people. Make it look like it's a Sunday dinner, but no, this is Saturday dinner. Yeah, this is Saturday dinner, my people. But I guarantee you, we'll have rice and peas left over for Sunday. Yeah, guys, it doesn't matter how much. I always try to cook a little bit amount, but a little bit amount turn out to that. It's swell, they have the rice swell, really swell. Which is a good thing. Okay? When I open my restaurant, I don't have to worry about cooking rice two times, two or three times. Unless it's done, then yeah. I cook nothing but fresh rice. If it's not done the end of the day, I carry it and I donate it to the, the homeless shelter. So people can get fresh food to eat every day. That's what you're paying for, fresh food. So if you want steal food, you just stay your house and just go in the fridge and eat whatever you left over. You come out to a restaurant, you get fresh food. Yeah, real talk. That's my restaurant, but it's coming. So in this now, lots of vegetables, huh? as you can see, lots. Huh? The fish is going on over there. And the rice and peas almost done. It's just soaking out, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, my people. Yeah. And then we have the carrot to chew in and we have some milk to chew in it, so, which is good. And people, I rather use this milk. I'm gonna show you guys again. I like to use this um, cream, milk and um, coconut cream, because if you can see right here, I put my finger right here. If you can zoom in and you read it, it says, no coloring, no preservative, okay? That's it. So that's why when you buy it, you gotta put it in the fridge. You keep it nice, right? Until you're ready to use it. And so yeah, my people, so all right, people, we're just waiting on this to go in next, right? Everything already done. That can come out now, I know that. I'm gonna take those out and then put in the two more pieces that I have. So keep watching my people. Keep your eyes on the prize, my people. All right. All right, my people. All right, let's see a little bit more. All right. A little bit more, a little bit more, not ready. Need to be grown properly. So, turn that up, like that, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, so now. Ah, this thing is thick. for myself. Got the better coconut milk. Nice. All right. All right. what we want to see. I'm going to 
a little bit more water in it, so we got the coconut, we're going to thicken up. Coconut will get thick. And so, I'll throw some more water in it. Nice. Now, we're going to put some, we're going to throw in our, our um, okra. Yeah. Okra. Okra is in. Then we're gonna throw some spice. So we're gonna put some of this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put some pimento seed in it. Mm -hmm. You can mash it up if you want. I don't mash them up. I just cook them the same way. Eat them as it is. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to throw a little bit of this is I mean, dried parsley and we have the dried basil. We're going to put some of that in it. All right. This is some lemon pepper. Coming along, great people. We're gonna see, this is Maggie. Nice, nice people. This is garlic, pepper, and herbs from Cool Runnings. That's it, people. Then we're going to stir it up. Alright, then it's bad we're done, so we're going to cook evenly. And then those fish to come out. Put the last two pieces in. piece of chewing. Hmm? Nice. Now, see? This is the fish sauce, right? What do you do with this? Throw it away? No, you don't. Come on, this is... Throw this in. That's a spice that you will season up the fish. You cannot throw that away. until those two pieces are done and then we start to clean up by the kitchen still need this that recycle 
Yeah, my people. Yes, 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 yes. I take two days off from um, video from, from YouTube. You know, I take two days to take a break because between work and coming home and doing blog and making content, trust me, it, it's a long work. And you know what makes it hard about it? You see, when you head it, a video, and you may cut out certain part that you know you got to go with, with YouTube um, copyright stuff. You got to cut out certain things and then put back certain things, you know. So, so when you don't do all that editing, it's the hardest thing. It takes a long time to upload it. Really, really, I don't know why. It takes a long time. No, if I just make the video and just don't take out nothing and just put it on and just download it. Mm, real quick, quick. You just download everything. But then by tomorrow, you're going to see a red thing come up and you're going to say copyright. So then you have to take them the whole video again. So may as well I do it from now. Mm, so I do it from now, fine comb it, see what's going in there, what I don't want in there. You know, so yeah. But it's all good, it's all work. You just better know when to take a break. You have to take a break. One way or the other, otherwise you break down. Um, well, I'm not going to um, oh, no, this. I said, the key is not the city. Right, you know what I should have to go in this? Uh, chicken noodles, you know? Or pumpkin noodles. Pumpkin noodles will be more like it. But I just think about it just now. But it's alright, it's all the time. It's okay. No biggie. Not a big problem in that. Oh, you gotta wash this thing out. Mainly the pepper that's on it. Mainly the pepper that's on it. Drain off before I put it back up. Then I gotta wash this pepper off my hand because I put my hand in my face and I can feel my eyes burning me. Alright. Much better. Much better. Much, much better, man. Yeah, man, much better. You better know. Alright people. See? Oh. Alright. Kiss this people. Further ado, look at this. Look at the sauce. See? It's nice, man. Yeah. Good. Spicy. Good. Spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna look on you. I'm gonna check for my rice and peas. Here make some vacuum wool. Mm -hmm. All right.
So far, so ready, my brother. Gotcha. Are you asleep? This is my red peas and black eyed peas, rice and peas. So I'm confusing, don't it? But it's my black eyed peas and red peas, rice and peas. See? So you have black eyed peas. If you see right there, I'm gonna zoom in. See that brown thing you're looking at? That's the black eyed peas. And you can see the red peas all over. See? The ginger, garlic, onion, then green onions, otherwise a scallion. So yeah, and then this now is to put in my fish. See, it's all ready to go in. So, all right, people, without further ado, let me just put this down and deal with that right now. And after that, everything done. Yeah, yeah, my people. After that, we are done. Let's put this in. So with this, this is the more pieces going in. We're gonna put them in. Tastes good my people, really. Good. All right, peeps. What did I say? See that? Look, man. Check out, check out my fish. Check out my fish, man. Then, 
fish, sliced fish, or curry meat, everything. You know, so if you gotta make them whole, right? The pot look big, but when you put these fish in it, can barely hold, so you gotta make them whole. All right, so that nice. That's our Saturday supper. Look like Sunday dinner. Right, Pete? Look at it. Beautiful fish, fried fish, then steamed down in some coconut milk with okra, diced up potatoes, celery, tomatoes, sweet bell pepper, garlic, onion, scallion, thyme, ginger. Trust me, people. Trust me. And curry. See? So it's curry, coconut milk with everything. It's really, 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 really nice, people. And the rest in peace. You know it, Art Shelley. Nice, man. Really, really nice. And that is it, people. Okay, that is it. Finish for the day. We're going to leave it now for the next couple of minutes. And then, you know what? We can take him off and start, you know, shear it out, dish it out. See? That's what we're going to do right about in the next two minutes. All right, people. Just keep watching, liking, sharing, subscribe to Flint Food and Adventure TV. Thank you, peeps.